Hi, thanks for watching and welcome to our ultimate guide on traffic lights. In this tutorial we'll be showing you how to do with traffic lights using the MSPSL routines that's mirrors, signal, position, speed, gear and look. So first up, turning right with a filter arrow. So here on approach to the junction we're going to check our centre and right mirror, pop on a right signal and we're going to use the right lane for turning right as clearly marked. So as we head up to the traffic lights, you can see our filter lights on green, so we've got priority. Just going to pause it there, so we're going to take the green path, just being aware that vehicles opposite will be taking the red path. So we need to keep in our position, into the new road, check those mirrors, and away we go. Okay, so let's look at the same junction from the opposite approach. Again, we've got a filter arrow and our own dedicated lane for turning right. This time our light is on red, so we're going to wait. Now we're looking ahead at the silver car that will also be turning right, so it's important we maintain our position. Light's about to change, so we get our green light so that we can see the filter light, so we've got priority, so that blue car will be waiting and we have priority. Again, we're going to follow the green path, being aware that that lorry will follow the red path into the new road, check those mirrors, and away we go. Okay, back to the same junction, but the opposite approach this time. There will be no filter arrow. So just while we're waiting, we're gonna check those mirrors. Lights are changing, we've got our signal on. So lights on green, we're going to position left of centre and no filter arrow this time, so we'll give way to oncoming traffic. Notice the van passes in front of us. We're going to position at our turning point, looking for a safe gap. We're going to check those mirrors, the signal's still on, there's the gap. Notice the lights are changing there, into the new road, and away we go. So here we're dealing with the same junction again from the opposite approach. This time I'm going to talk about oncoming vehicles. So notice the vehicle signalling there, how he's positioned so that the bus can pass around him. Notice there are no road markings which tell us whether to pass in front or behind the oncoming vehicles. So we have a decision to make whether we pass in front of the oncoming vehicles which is near side to near side or do we go around the back which is off side off side. In this example I've decided to go near side near side to show you some of the problems. So the first problem is restricted vision ahead, I can't see past that van. Second problem I'm having to creep forwards onto oncoming traffic. And third I'm turning my wheel so if I were to get a rear end shunt I'd be pushed onto oncoming traffic. The safest approach here would have been to go round the back off side off side as road markings didn't state otherwise. Okay, so this next traffic lights, we're going to be dealing with secondary red traffic lights. So here we're turning right, you can see we're on a red traffic light and we've got our own dedicated lane to turn right, so we'll be passing in front. Lights now changing on green, no filter light, so I'm going to be waiting in the middle for oncoming traffic, looking for a safe gap. So here comes my gap, in I go into the new road, traffic lights here on red, but look, there's no stop line so I can continue through because stopping there would be dangerous as cars following behind would run into the back of me. Okay, same set of traffic lights, just a different approach this time. Again, we're turning right. So the lights on red, we're waiting. And look, we've got our own dedicated lane. Look at road markings. No filter lights, so we're giving way to oncoming traffic. But the dark car in front turning right is blocking my view. I'm just creeping forwards to get that view down the side and then if we just pause, let's have a look, the white lorry is coming towards me but I look at the blue lorry to make sure he's going to continue into that road to make sure that it's safe, ignore the secondary lights, so there was no stop line and in we go. Okay, so different junction this time, again we're turning right but we're going to be dealing with a pedestrian crossing this time. So let's look at road markings. So no dedicated lane for turning right, but I'm positioned slightly right. The vehicle ahead looks like he's going to go left. So I'm just going to creep forwards to my point of turn. 
allowing traffic behind me and to the left to pass through if they want to go ahead. Now I'm just looking for a safe gap or looking for the traffic light to change. So now it's going to red, so those vehicles oncoming should stop. The Mini's the last one through, check left and right, make sure it's safe. Into the new road, traffic lights on green change into red. But this time I will stop because there is a stop line and the pedestrian has priority. So we don't want to confuse these red lights with secondary red traffic lights. There was a stop line, so we must stop. So let's look at the same junction from the opposite approach. This time we're turning left. So this time the traffic lights are on green. Note that it's stop line and we'll continue through, checking those mirrors for traffic merging in from the right. Here we're going to be turning right at the second set of traffic lights towards Jupiter Road. So approaching the first set of lights, we've checked our mirrors and we're positioned in the right hand lane and we're going to take the green path. If we have vehicles turning right, they'll queue up on the right and potentially block our path, so we'll either have to wait behind them or if it's safe, pass round on the left, checking those mirrors before we do so. Continuing ahead to the second set, we've checked our mirrors, we've popped our signal on and we're going to take the green path. Position keep well to the right because vehicles on the left will pass through so we get a lot of lorries on this road and they'll get very close to your vehicle potentially taking off a door mirror. Here we're turning right, we've got right filter lights, we have priority, we're still looking into the new roads. Notice the lights are changing but we've crossed the stop line so we're going to continue in. So we've moved into the city, we're going to be turning right. Um, dealing with large vehicles. So we're on Riverside Road, going to be turning right into Prince of Wales. And just look ahead, notice the bin lorry's just changed lane. We're going to be turning right, so we've got our own right lane. And look where the stop line is. And we're just going to move up behind the bin lorry, just going to keep the pedestrian crossing clear. Traffic light's still on green. Now look to the left. Look how narrow that lane is and we need to anticipate that that bin lorry will have a lot of tail swings. So any vehicles passed on the left there should be aware of that. So just let's pause it there and look how much that rear swings out and forces that blue car just up the kerb a little bit. So let's look at the traffic lights. We're on green with a filter light. Lights changing, no secondary set of lights, no stop lines. We just move through there. Okay, so staying in the city, here we're going to be turning right the traffic lights towards Great Yarmouth. So there's three lanes, so we're going to be in the right hand lane, lane three. Traffic lights on red, now changing. Just be aware this van may try and cut in, so we're just staying in a safe position in case he does. Looking ahead here, look at road markings, so we're going to be in the middle lane now to follow the road ahead. Traffic lights on green and look, there is a stop line, so they are not secondary traffic lights. So we keep going through there, but had they been red, we would have stopped. Okay, next up we're going to be going ahead with multiple lanes. So here we've got a choice of lanes, we could either use the left lane or the middle lane to go ahead. We're going to go for the default left lane. That middle lane would be for overtaking, just note the road markings there, both lanes go ahead. Traffic lights now changing. As we pass through, get in the habit of scanning right and left just in case a cyclist or an emergency vehicle is coming through. So we're looking for signs and road markings, so we're just going to stagger our position, what's called a zip merge, and stay with the white car, so cars behind can just slot in and we check down mirrors there to make sure that's safe to do so. Okay, so next up is a yellow box junction. We're going to be going ahead, so traffic lights are green, and we'll just pause it there so we can highlight the yellow box and we're looking well ahead into that oval section just to make sure our exit is clear before entering as we need to make sure these junctions remain clear. Now we're going to check those mirrors and merge in safely. Now we're going to be continuing ahead at the next three sets of traffic lights. So here I'm going to use the middle lane to overtake the lorry as we can see road markings that clearly indicate that we can use both lanes. Moving ahead, we're in a 40 limit here on the ring road and now I'll return back to the left hand lane as the normal driving position. Now as we come up to this junction, 
notice the traffic lights on red but I've just paused it here because that tree in the signs block our view we're actually on a green light so we come through here scanning the junction left and right and we're just keeping a safe following distance to the vehicle in front of us the two second rule notice how people in lane two are very close another set of green lights scanning sign there so we're merging turn so we're checking those mirrors and zip back into single file okay so let's look at amber lights and stopping if safe to do so so here initially I'm going to be turning right and I want to pass this lorry so I'm checking those mirrors I'm going to use the overtake lane so lane 2 to pass the lorry traffic lights are currently on green now amber so I'm going to wait so I've got time to stop it is safe to stop we're just checking those mirrors scanning left and right lights are changing through away check center mirror check left mirror and we zip merge back in okay let's look at another example where we've got an amber light so here again I've checked mirrors I'm going for the overtake and I use the middle lane to go ahead lights are on green but now they change gonna keep going we've got a vehicle close behind that it would not have been safe to stop okay so let's look at the boundary junction in Norwich quite a complicated junction and here we're just leaving Jupiter Road from the test centre and we're soon going to be turning right towards Cromer in the airport so there's our sign so we can see Cromer and the airport to the right and the road markings so we're checking those mirrors we're going into the right hand lane got queuing traffic so we're going to leave a safe distance our tyres and tarmac just speed the video up here as so we wait here for quite a time now here we've got a green filter light yellow box our exit's clear we're turning in we're going to use the left hand lane and if we just pause here we can see chroma in the airport to the right so we're just going to hold our lane and follow that through being aware that vehicles on the right hand lane may cut in traffic lights on green now we're going to be going left, so centre mirror, left mirror, left signal. We're going to take the green path, the left hand lane. Being aware of those pedestrians and vehicles from the right merging back in, so we're going to check that mirror. Okay, so still on the boundary, we're going to be turning right towards Ipswich. So we've used the right hand lane, just speeding up the video here to get through. This traffic's quite heavy. We're on green traffic lights. Keeping that safe distance, looking well ahead, looking at our sign towards Ipswich, checking those mirrors, and here we've got a choice of two lanes to go round to Ipswich, so we're going to use the normal position, the left hand lane, marked in darker green, follow that round, entering the yellow box, looking beyond, make sure the exit is clear, and now as we come into the new road, we're just going to check the centre mirror and the right mirror, looking for traffic merging in from the right. And leaving a nice safe gap in front okay so moving on to a new junction now we're going to be turning right and this one's going to have cycle lanes so we're following the routine into the right hand lane just pause it we've got the uh, cycle area there which would keep clear on red lights no filter lights so we're waiting into the new roads and we're just keeping out of those cycle lanes even though they're on broken white lines okay so same junction different approach so here we've highlighted the cycle lane notice the broken line turns into a solid so at the solid line we must keep out of the cycle lane vehicle in front turning now let's look at the traffic lights and here we have a cycle green light so the cyclists can now proceed we're waiting for our green light so we now proceed no filter light here so give way to oncoming traffic into the new road and away we go okay so we're going to be turning left at the traffic lights and this one's got a slip road so we're going to head towards the city center and notice on the sign how we've got that slip road so as we approach we check our mirrors and pop a signal on and enter the slip road now if we pause it here notice traffic ahead is on green lights so they're going to be moving ahead and we have a giveaway sign so we're still going to look to the right it should be clear and we're going to go 
Okay, so same junction, different approach. We've got a slip road, so I'm just going to go into the slip road here and just pause it. Ahead traffic's on red, so we've got traffic travelling from the right. And again, if I pause it, we've got these screens that intentionally block our views, causing us to slow down. So we're going to take it nice and slow, looking well to the right, being prepared to stop and give way. Looking for a safe gap, into the new road, and away we go. Okay, so same junction but the opposite approach here. So we're going to turn right towards uh, Fakenham into the right hand lane. Got a dedicated right lane with our own set of traffic lights. We're anticipating a filter light. And if we look across the junction, we we'll see those screens, those hedges that were blocking our view before. So if we pause it here, I'm going to move into the left hand lane, taking the green path, being aware that traffic might try and merge in from the left. They should give way, and also I'll have vehicles possibly overtaking from the right. So one final check of the mirrors and away we go. Okay, that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Please comment, like and subscribe. See you in the next video.